Hi. So I haven't been very active the past few days because I've been traveling and I did, didn't bring anything with me. I don't have my iPad to make any more art videos. I also don't have my cosplay. But if anyone has been watching the Toto Baku AU when you don't return, so episode 4 is coming. I have it almost finished. I just couldn't really finish it because the day of traveling was like right there. So it just stops me from finishing it. But when I get back in a few days, I will be finishing it. And I also started making an animation for the first time. So once I get my iPad again, I will be finishing that animation and posting it. It's not going to be perfect because it's my first time. But yeah, I tried to make it nice. And I also bought a small mannequin to help me with the character poses when I'm animating and all of that. So, uh, let's just get into it now. So, like around two weeks ago or something, I was told by my brother and sister that our dad had died. And if I wanted to come to the funeral and everything and sure I decided that I would go and I thought that I thought that that would just already be the worst news I could receive and I thought that I couldn't feel worse so yeah, I spent a few days just upset about it and just remembering the day I was told where I was just completely oblivious to everything. Like, my day was just going on, everything was perfectly ordinary and then suddenly my brother just came and told me. So I'm, I'm just in the UK right now. And um, today I'll be taking a bus to head over to, to London where I might be meeting my brother and sister and his side of the family but I don't really know if I could make it because there has already been so many problems with transport and I don't really know if I will be able to get the bus because we had a reservation um, for the bus but after checking the timetables of the buses our reservation time is just one that doesn't exist on those timetables like it doesn't say that there's any buses coming through at that time so we've apparently just reserved this ghost bus that is not in the timetables because the time was for half nine and there is no bus at half nine so I don't know how it can be possible to reserve a ghost train I mean a ghost bus um, like how can you make a reservation and they give you that time, a time that doesn't exist, that doesn't have any buses going around? So, I, I don't really know what we're going to do, or if we're even going to get to London, or if I can go to the funeral. And everything has just been too much like just when I didn't think things could get worse they were like the most unimaginable, unimaginable things just started happening like it was like a trip from hell with all the things that had been going wrong and I, I will be explaining them 
throughout the video because like traveling can be complicated but this is just this was like hell not just the, the thing with my dad but just the journey itself it was one complication after another now even before the journey began it was just it was worse than a nightmare also look at the view from my window I just keep staring out at it I mean and I've been going to the parks and like just walking through the forests of this town because I really love it and I really love being in those parks and I will be having a, a vlog of everything like I have been vlogging so <laughs> just gonna have to wait a few days until I can get back to posting like the regular content plus vlogs and everything else and just mm, be catching up on what I've been doing I'm really excited about um, the animations, the Total Baku AU and and yeah so I've made um, I don't really know what I would call it, it's like a compilation of things that happened in Shoto's past in this AU, okay? It's It doesn't entirely have to do with the canon, only some things are, but it's mainly just been adapted to an AU, in an alternate universe. So yeah, I've just ma been making short TikTok videos of different scenes from Todoroki's past because I thought like, hey, it doesn't really show anything in the AU of how Todoroki and Bakugo met, how they got together. And since, like, the story is different here, like, it's not like in the canon, I thought I would show a few things explaining Todoroki's past and explaining why he is like that like he is not like in the canon not completely so i thought i'd show like all the things that led up to that point that sort of made him act that, that way and kind of to explain like give a bit more insight on why he ended up joining his brother by the way their ages are also different in this au like the age difference between Todoroki and and Darby, they they only have a three year difference. Like in in the current time where this AU is taking part, like in all the episodes you've been seeing, like so Todoroki is twenty one and Darby is his canon age of twenty four, but like. So, Todoroki was a little bit older than than in the canon, so he's he's closer to his brother's age, and Bakugo is also like around twenty one or twenty two, and Aizawa. Well, in this AU, he is retired now. Well, more or less, he's not retired. He's now working in an office managing the new the the younger pro heroes you know like the ua students now that they have graduated and turned into pro heroes as you have seen he is talking with bakugo and that's supposed to be taking place in an office you know when they are talking about bakugo and todoroki's hero work and the stuff they have been doing so yeah he he now manages the younger pro heroes because Todoroki and Bakugo um, are pro heroes. I'm not sure if like I've said it before in in the episodes where Bakugo is the number one hero and Todoroki became the number two hero. And if you're wondering about um, Deku, Kirishima, um, Denki, all those others, um, I'm not sure if they will even appear in the AU. As for the, the League of Villains, right now the only canon character in there is, is Darby. The rest are just 
made up characters. As for Shigaraki, I'm not sure if I will be putting him in this AU because the League of Legends is all. <laughs> The League of Villains, not the League of Legends. <laughs> so yeah, so it's also like a little bit different, like they don't really have a, a leader. Well, like if I continue explaining, this is going to take up a big part of the video. So I'll, I'll go explaining it more like inside um, the actual episodes instead. So like... <sighs> on with catching up um, so first i really did just want to talk about it make a video on it but now like they are personal matters that don't only involve me they also involve my sister and her side of the family so i don't think i should really be talking about it freely as if it were only just my business because it also involves other people so I don't know if putting it out there um, could affect them as well but uh... so I still want to talk about it but I probably will just be leaving out a lot of details and don't ask because as I said um, this does not only involve me, so usually I wouldn't mind just answering any questions in the comments, but well, if if I see that your question is only involving me, not the others, then yeah, I will answer it, but I'm not gonna start like talking about any matters that involve the rest of my family and um, my dad's side of the family. So, turns out I was an affair child and while I was having that conversation, I was just on the bus. Um, I was on the bus like that was taking me to back to this house because I, I was still during um, traveling so I had gone off the plane and now I was just I had to take another bus to get home and yeah so after all the ordeal with traveling that we went through to late I have to be told that well, it kind of just really upset me and really drained me and I was just mad and hurt and so at that point, after everything I had already been dealing with uh, throughout that week, I had just decided that I was just too done with everything and too tired. Like, after being told my dad died as well, to later have to deal with being told that too, and having had that conversation, I, I just decided that I simply didn't want to go anymore, and I just didn't want to see anyone or be around anyone. Like, they should stay among themselves because I had never really been so involved in their lives or with their family because I also thought that I just really didn't even belong there it's like I was just an affair child should I have even ever been there I didn't really think so at that time but then my sister started messaging me saying 
thought she was looking forward to meeting me, but like regardless of whatever decision I make of going or not, we have just been having so much trouble with transport that now I really don't know if we can even physically get there. And I want to just go for a walk right now because I, I want to just go for a walk, but you know, anyway. Um, and also, my uh, dad's wife, which is my sister's mother, she was also saying that it would be perfectly fine for me and my mum to go. I also explained to her that we've been having trouble with travelling and I also don't know if we can even physically be there. So she also told me that they would love to meet me. Now that I'm alone again, I just wanted to talk about the next awful thing that happened. So, my sister, me, and my mom got all the dates wrong. So, um, to begin with, my sister told me it was going to be on Friday 25th. But today is Thursday, 25th. It is Friday, 26th. And we had the plane tickets to go back home on the 26th, which is the day of the funeral when I was supposed to go over there and meet my, my sister, my brother and everyone else. So after everything I did, after so many ups and downs, after so many emotion, getting emotionally prepared, after having to get so emotionally prepared, after all of them telling me how they were looking forward to meeting me, turns out we finally just can't go. After everything. And yeah, that's about it. If I have any other updates, I'll I'll make another video.